I have a project that has already been somewhat announced and uh, uh, probably be re-announced again where I'm sending some works to the, uh, the moon. They're off also uh, involved with the celebration that people are the carriers of meaning. Um, I think that's, NFT, it's NFT, right? It's an NFT, and but also incorporated into a physical object that uh, here on earth, people have kind of a trophy object of, of a moon phase. Uh, I'm making 125 independent separate uh, moon phases, which is an illuminated and non-illuminated uh, surface of the moon at any particular time. And uh, it's uh, the surface that you see. So I've made 125 of them. They go into, they're only about an inch in size and they're going into a cube that will go to the moon and be perpetually always on the surface of the moon. And, uh, but here on, uh, on Earth, that will be photographed once it's installed on the moon, when it lands on the moon with the lunar lander. Uh, it'll be photographed and that will be part of uh, an NFT. And also what goes along with the NFT is a 12 and a half inch uh, stainless steel uh, moon phase that is the, uh, a replica of the moon, but in stainless steel with all the craters, uh, it's colored to capture all the mineral deposits and all the colors of the surface. And uh, it also has a precious stone where the lander lands. And depending on the view you have, the stone that you have. But why, 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 why do you think NFT is interesting? And you think it, do you think it's really fascinating? Well, well, I've been working in the digital world for really decades. Everything I do, I'm working digitally and, and creating. It could be something that is really kind of celebrating uh, meaning. So each moon phase is named after a person that has made a significant contribution, at least subjectively in my eyes, but I've looked at a lot of lists of people from all different parts of the world, different cultures that are viewed of really making contributions for society. And I, I put 125 together and uh, their name is also etched within this cube that goes to the moon with the 125 in. In front of their particular moon phase, their name is uh, etched in gold leafed. And here on the earth um, trophy uh, that people get of their uh, moon phase, there's an optical crystal that has their name etched in it and gold leaf. So it could be Leonardo da Vinci. So really at the end of the day, that's really all we end up with is a name. We end up with a name, but we also end up with the meaning and we're the carriers of that meaning. It's completely uh, ethereal, it's ephemeral, but it's the meaning that we're able to continue of Leonardo. But if we look at something the closest that we get to a physical thing of Leonardo, other than, you know, we, other than the works that are left behind is just the letters of that name. And who is going, who is supposed to send them, uh, or by what way are you going to send them on the moon? I'm working with a company called Intuitive Machines, and they're working with NASA and they're working with SpaceX. So when I received the proposal from them, you know, I realized completely that, you know, this is uh, a group that this, uh, this is going to happen, that uh, this is really a solid uh, group. Everything is in place and the work should go by the end of this year. Wow. Okay, so let's take an appointment for the next interview. <laughs> you know, I, I would like to do that. Uh, 